Hey everyone, it's Georgia Ellenwood. I'm a professional heptathlete for Team Under Armour and today I'm going to be taking you guys through a runner's at-home mobility routine. So what we're going to start with is calf foam rolling on the outside and on the center part of your calves. So you just want to lay down, get that side part of the calf in a way that's comfortable for you. Targeting any areas that feel specifically sore, so if you want to pause on some areas in your calf that feel really sore, then do that. And then we're moving to the IT band, which is this very outside of your leg, and then the hamstring. So back on your side. This is usually really sore for me, and probably in a lot of other runners, because we use this muscle a lot. So I like to focus on this a little bit more, give it a little bit more attention. So after you foam rolled that, you just want to do a simple calf stretch. So if you want to stay seated, you can just pull your toes towards you like this for 30 seconds on each side. But what I do, and I usually do this before all of my practices, is you're just standing, this leg is bent in the back, your heel is on the ground, and you're just feeling that stretch in your calf. Okay, so after that, we're gonna move to the back and scab. So we're just gonna foam roll the upper part of our back, just like this, on the ground, targeting the upper area of your back. We're doing a full back extension with the foam roller. You're just extending and coming back to neutral. Getting that full range of motion in your back and warming it up. We're going to move to low skips in place. So I'm gonna pretend that I have a skipping rope. If you do, then that's perfect. This is all about ankle mobility. So making sure you hit the ground at the right spot and getting your ankles warmed up, just like this. Pushing off the ground with your ankles. So after that, we're doing 10 floor Ys. So on your stomach, all the way on the ground. Your head is down, your arms are forward like this, and you're just raising your arms in the Y position, keeping your head down. And we're doing 10 hamstring stretches on each side, 20 all together. Pulling the leg out, stretching this part of the hamstring. 10 of those. Every time you do it, try and go a little bit deeper into the stretch. We're doing 20 toe to shin. So you're really thinking about pulling your toe towards your shin. So I'm gonna do left leg first. Pulling it in. It's a pretty small movement, but if you make this a routine, you're gonna see a big difference. We're gonna to move to knee extension, which is where you might need a band. I just have one tied to the couch. So you just put it on the back of your knee. You can also do this sitting on a chair. I like to do it standing on the back of your knee, just like this, and you're extending that knee. You can pause in the extended position. These are really slow and controlled. And the last exercise in this entire workout is going to be reverse lunge to a balance. So the balance position is here, and then we're gonna take it into a reverse lunge, really slowly, making sure it's quality, and then back into the balance position. Back into a lunge, and to the balance. Good job for staying motivated. I know it's really hard during this time, but we're in it together, so I hope you enjoyed it.